JD, are we starting with an opening statement or going just yes, into the question? Okay, Coach, if you want to go ahead and with an opening statement, and then we'll dive into questions. Opening statement. Just, just, just talk about the team. Oh, okay. I don't need to introduce myself. Uh, <laughs> no, we've been uh, I, the opening statement is we just been working, you know, the last month and a half to prepare, you know, for this Bahama trip. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of, a lot of input both ways with the players and coaching coaching staff and you know they from where we started to where we are today we, we've gotten a lot better um, especially from a conditioning standpoint and and I know it's early but I just wanted them to get a feel of who I am as a coach in terms of my conditioning side of the uh, uh, of the basketball I mean we got to be in be better shape, I think, than we were last season. So that's why I'm really pushing the conditioning because of the way we want to play on both ends of the floor. We really got to be conditioned to move around and run up and down the floor. So in that regard, I think we're starting to improve there and they're starting to pick up some of the things that I've added from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint. And uh, it's kind of nice to see, but we still got a long way to go right now. We'll start with Alex Bozich and then Mike Schumann. Hi, Mike. I'm curious defensively um, with the change kind of going from what uh, the, the team ran last year to what you're trying to do defensively. Has there been any challenges uh, that you've noticed so far and any habits maybe that they that they previously had that you've had to work with them to change? Well, again, you know, I, I don't knock, you know, what they did last year is what they they did, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm I got to concentrate on, you know, my style from a defensive standpoint. My, my thing is, you know, if, if the ball has been guarded tight and, you know, everybody's in a support position to help if there's a breakdown, you know, I want a body on a body, you know, I don't want guys, you know, taking possessions off begging for help defensively, you know, if, if you own the ball, that's your guy, you got to guard the ball. And, you know, there are certain directions where we want the ball directed. Uh, somebody's beat, you know, there's got to be help. And then that guy helps that, you know, you got to help him from helping the guy who got beat. So, I mean, it's, everybody's got to be on the string. So we, we're working on rotations uh, um, and mainly just, keeping heat on the basketball, you know, in terms of who's guarding, uh, pick and rolls where we're trying to be up and be aggressive in that area. Uh, uh, but again, I, you know, what they did last year was last year. This is totally new year for us. Mike and then Jeff Rabjohns. Yeah. Hey coach, I wanted to ask you about recruiting. This was, you know, your first time out on the road the last couple months looking at high school kids. What, what was it hard to, for you after so long in the NBA to kind of recalibrate your expectations of what you're looking for and what, what else did you learn out there? Well, you know, there's no question the level of play is not the same. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still got to evaluate talent. And, you know, for me, it was, you know, I had a great time out there. You know, I, I saw a lot of people I knew. But just to be able to to evaluate young talent and just see where, you know, the, the level of play in certain areas where you go is totally different. Um, you know, some some areas guys can shoot the ball and some areas they can't shoot the ball. There are areas where guys can't handle it as well as certain other areas that you go to and watch basketball. So basketball is being played differently all over the United States. But at the end of the day, you know, we got to evaluate players that we think fit what we're trying to accomplish here at Indiana. And, you know, there are a lot of, there's a lot of talent out there and, you know, getting players to commit is the next thing. But, you know, there are a number of guys that we're still trying to get for next season. Um, but for the most part, recruiting was fun. You know, it was gru grueling and, and tiresome at times, you know, because you sit in the gym sometimes from 8 in the morning until 
12, 1 o'clock, then I got to get out of the gym, go jump on a plane and go to another site. You know what I mean? So it's it's up and down and, and watching a lot of talented players. Jeff and then Zach Osterman. Yeah, hey, good morning, Coach. Appreciate your time. I had two questions for you. Um, we just had the NBA draft. What did you see as far as what kind of Big Ten players got drafted, and how did you think the Big Ten did in, in, the, in the draft this year? Well, I didn't watch the draft that closely. You know, I read it in the paper. I know we had, I think, seven players from the Big Ten that got drafted. Uh, I think one in the first round. I think the other six were, you know, later in the second round. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're – we're still in the hunt in the Big Ten for players getting drafted. Uh, I think the most was the SEC. They they had 10 uh, NBA draft picks. Um, but, it, you know, again, the draft is what it is. My focus now is, is, is trying to find players that can make the next jump. That's going to be important for your program as well uh, as we move forward. And, you know, Anybody you recruit and they want to know, can you get them to the next level anyway? So, um, and my thing is if you're good enough and you're willing to work, you can get to the next level. So it, it kind of goes both ways. And second question, um, how are you going to go about like, kind of like installing, you talked about four out one in as a general concept for your offense. Are you going to try to install a lot of things before the season starts and, and get good at them during the season? Or are you going to kind of like, okay, we're going to add A, B, and C, then we're going to add B. Are, are there going to be stair steps that you add to your offense as the season goes along? Well, you know, we've been doing a little bit of everything. The main focus the last month and a half has basically been on defense. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see, you know, how we react when we, you know, we play someone else. This, uh, this team we're going to play over at Mega Roster Team, BC Mega, uh, in uh, the Bahamas, they're a pretty good basketball team. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we'll be tested. And I'm anxious to see where we are from a defensive standpoint. Offensively, you know, things will come along. I've added some things uh, to get ready for this game. And, again, when we're scrimmaging and, and, and we break down the tape after our scrimmages, you know, there's just a lot of, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement, man, in terms of execution, because my standard of execution is high. You know, I want, I don't want guys throwing the ball all over the gym. I want them getting shots, good shots, uh, and I want them executing. And then defensively, you got to be held accountable, man, to defend the basketball and rebound. So all of that goes hand in hand when you're trying to put a team together. Uh, but we kind of, we just kind of got baby steps right now in terms of, you know, getting where we need to go, knowing that there's a long way to go. Zach and then Tyler. Coach, I guess when you, you think about um, not just the games, but you talk about breaking down film, scrimmage film, things like that, just how valuable is that practice film going to be for you and your staff, kind of the practices you're allowed <laughs> to get into building up to the Bahamas trip as you start moving into the preseason in the fall? It's very valuable because I've seen from the time we started to where we are today, some improvement. And I've always felt that film is a, is a, a major teaching tool for young players when you're trying to build a program. And we still got a long way to go, man. I mean, uh, the positive behind the month and a half for me is that they're starting to pick up some of the things that I'm throwing at at them and uh that means a lot when you're trying to build a team uh, you know i don't have to keep repeating myself you know i mean they yeah they're making mistakes and that's just a part of the game and you know when they make mistakes i try to reinforce that they shouldn't you know do the things that they're doing and and then when we show them on film to try to you know show them the areas where they are making the mistakes you know, you, you try to see the next practice if they've improved uh, once they get back out on the floor and not doing the same thing over and over again. So uh, those are the things that I look at from a coaching standpoint. But again, we have a long way to go still. Tyler and then Dustin. Hey, coach, I, I hope you're doing well. Um, 
Is there anyone that has specifically really impressed you this summer or you feel like has made uh, really good strides? I think Trace has. Uh, you know, he's one player, I you know, that was always intriguing. I mean, that was why when I took the job, I was desperately trying to get him to stay and we were able to get that done. But from the time we started to where we are now, he's he's made some improvement. Uh, in terms of how he's running and uh, and playing, he's playing to me much aggressive than he did in some of the tapes that I watched uh, last season. Um, and I, you know, we're going to need him to to be that guy, the guy that plays aggressive and and if he can average twenty and and double rebounds, that's a, that's a major bonus again for our ball club. I think Rob Fennessy has has kind of changed his game a little bit too. You know, I kind of like what he's done uh, from the time we started to where he is today. But, you know, I like the makeup of our ball club in general. I just think, you know, we got a good group of guys that are are working hard and doing everything that we're asking them to do. And that's, that's all you can ask for from a coach. Coaching standpoint is players that are, you know, that come to, to the gym with energy and, and, and happy about being there and, and and putting in the work because that's what it's going to take to get back to the top, I think. Dustin and then Tom Brew. Uh, Coach, two questions that I wanted to ask about. You mentioned Rob Finnessy. How, how has he changed his game? What's different about what he's doing? And you also mentioned BC Mega. What do you, uh, you know, what do you just think about that team? What do you know about them? And, and what kind of uh, challenge do you think they present? What do you think they can do for you guys playing them at this stage? Well, I think Rob has improved, you know, he's, his confidence is a little bit better, I think, than it was last year. And, you know, I'm just trying to get he, Rob and Xavier, uh, Christian, young Christian, to learn how to be point guards and run your team, you know, when they got the ball in their hand. And I think Rob has stood out a little bit uh, in terms of where he was a, a year ago in terms of being more relaxed and comfortable and, and, and playing. And, you know, I'm going to need him to stay there because, uh, and, and, and continue to grow because, you know, that position is important because a lot of times the ball will be in his hands and Xavier's hands as well. Um, and you need them to, to be able to make the right decisions when the ball is in their hands. With the mega team, you know, we, we are watching film on them. Uh, they're a big team. Um, you know, they're a team that that plays well together. They got a, a pretty good little point guard that that kind of directs traffic. So we really gonna have to control him and um, and put heat on him when he when he's got the ball in his hand. But they got a lot of shooters, a lot of big guys. They play four round one as well and. Uh, so it'll be a test for our ball club to see how we we compete and, and and see how we can play at a high level. I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm anxious to get to the Bahamas to see where we are as a team. Tom Brew, then Kevin Brockway. Hey, Mike, it's good to see you. you too. Um, the uh, the four new guys, the four transfers, and none of us have obviously had a chance to, to see much of any of them yet. But can you kind of fill us in behind closed doors, what you think of them so far and uh, what you like or maybe uh, want to see them get better at quickly? Well, again, they're, they're trying to fill me out as well as, as the other players on the team. Um, I think Miller's trying to find his niche. You know, the, the one thing about Miller is he can make shots, you know, and I just got to put him in the right positions where – He's successful to make them. Xavier's just trying to learn how to be a, you know, he's a point guard, man, but there's a lot that comes with being a point guard. So he, I've probably been in his ass more than anybody on the, on the team because I just think that position is so valuable in, in terms of where you go as a ball club. Uh, young Tamar, you know, Bates, he's, he's a typical freshman. The good thing about him is he's put on about, 12 pounds uh, from the time he's come in here. And that's a bonus because he was real light in the butt and uh, we needed him to pick up some weight, but, you know, he's a cocky kid that, that uh, 
that's not scared. And I kind of like that, you know, in him. So uh, Big Mike is who he is. Um, you know, he bangs. And I think that's what has made Trace a little bit more competitive because he's got a bigger guy now that, that can bang and do things down low when he gets the ball. So competition and practice has been pretty competitive. And, you know, in order to be a great team, you got to have – competition man and, and guys competing against one another nope no starting position is set in stone uh except for the big fella Trey. so everybody's just working right now trying to figure it out what do you think about parker stewart so far parker's been solid um you know he went through early on he went through a stretch where he was probably the best player in the gym and then he just took a back seat and now i'm trying to retool him and get his ass back to playing how he was playing early when we first started, but he's doing fine. Kevin, and then we'll wrap up with uh, Jeff Rab Johns. Yeah, coach. Hey, um, I was, uh, you had talked the last time we talked about uh, in terms of, uh, you know, being able to be hands on and get to work with these guys. Uh, how do you think they're picking up some of your concepts, particularly on the defensive end of the floor? They're picking them up. Uh, you know, my thing is, is, I think when you put a defensive concept in place, you know, you give them the, the general stuff, but there's always what we call the what ifs. You know, you're going to have the what ifs a lot when you're playing basketball, maybe on offense or defense, and mainly defense. You know, I can say we're going to play this pick and roll a certain way, but what if it doesn't? You know, what if it doesn't happen that way? Are you going to just quit and, and say, well, it didn't work and we give up and get, you know, get, succumb to a bucket? No, you got to play the what ifs too. So those are the things that I'm trying to teach, you know, as we go along in, you know, in our pick and roll coverage, our post up game. Um, you know, when there's a breakdown, somebody beating somebody on a baseline drive do you just watch and let him come in and lay it up no you gotta you gotta go and stop the problem and then and then you after you stop the problem you gotta scramble out of the problem and get to to where the ball might take you so I mean there's a lot of things that has has to be taught that we've we as a staff we've got a lot of stuff in you know in this short period of time and that's why I'm very encouraged in, uh, in that, that they picking things up and, and are getting better from the time we started and where we are today. Last question for Jeff Rab Johns. Hey coach, I'm curious, who have been your best four or five offensive players so far to start? Oh, it is very, you know, without a doubt, Trace has been, but Parker at one time has been pretty good Xavier. Um, Tamar hadn't been bad. Uh, Galloway has been pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, and then Rob, Rob has played, Rob has played pretty well. I mean, on both ends of the ball, which is, you know, kind of nice to see. So, um, you know, I haven't given them a lot offensively because I just feel like you know, that's, you know, that will come. Uh, we just got to get solid defensively because I truly believe if we can, if we can rest our hat on the defensive end in, in terms of defending and rebounding the ball, we'll give ourselves a chance to be in all, every game that we play. So that's where my focus has been. But, but you know, we have put in some offensive things and, and you know, they're executing and, and trying to learn it and, 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 and put it to work once we scrimmage and play. So we still got a long way to go, gentlemen. We just do. I mean, it's, it's early right now. All right, coach. Thank you so much. Hey guys. Thanks again. You guys have a good weekend. Thanks coach. All righty. Thank you, Mike. See All you right. soon. Okay.